All right, we are on the garage and we are ready to start working on this 79 L82 Corvette four speed. Um, when I had the car shipped out here to my new place, cross country, um, the brake calipers were leaking in the front, uh, mainly that side. And yeah, I mean, before this, the car was sitting for 20 years. And I mean, this car is over 40 years old, so it's time to do new brakes. Uh, I'm sure these aren't the original brakes, so I won't have to draw any rotors or anything. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing a whole new brake system. All new rotors, pads, calipers, uh, soft brake lines. Gonna do a master cylinder, a brake booster, and even the parking brake, I'm gonna fix that. So a whole new brake system other than uh, the hard brake lines, but those should be fine since this car was in California. All right, so let's get started. Um, I had to push this car back in my garage a little bit. Uh, this is where I have my workbench now. It's not set up obviously, but I'm gonna need to probably move in the corner because right there, <laughs> I, I don't have any access to the right side of the or the engine bay, so that's not a good spot. But yeah, I got a pile of boxes in my living room right now. Um, but first up, we're gonna get the brake fluid out of here. So I'm gonna open up the master uh, cylinder reservoir. I'm gonna use my vacuum pump and just suck it into uh, maybe some water bottles that I have. Okay, so I got the cap off. It's just two little clamp rings, as you can see way down there. They're just spring loaded on, so just take a pry bar, a screwdriver, and just shift them out of the way. Watch your fingers. Um, this was kind of tight on there, but it, it did come off uh, without the need of tools. Looks like this is a gasket right here. Um, if so, I might want to look into getting a gasket unless the new one comes with it. But yeah, that's disgusting. Um, it's like, I don't really want to put my finger in there. It looks chunky. <laughs> so let's drain it out. I got my Mighty Vac. So I just barely got any into the water bottle. I mean, really, there's not much inside the, the master cylinder reservoir anyways. Um, so all that's left in there is just the tiny little film of fluid and just some gunk. Um, so yeah, uh, I sprayed some PB Blaster on these two nuts because I'm going to have to remove them and I don't want them to be a problem. So now I'm going to jack the car up um, and start taking the wheels off so I can start working on brakes. I got all four sides up in the air. Um, so I wanted to have the front a little higher than the rear, which I believe I have now. Um, that way if I decide a gravity bleed or really it will help bleeding the air out of the brakes when I'm done anyways so uh, but unfortunately I switched it up and I had the back and up higher so that was a whole mess so that took me way longer than it should have and then I got the hubcaps off um, I, I don't know the proper way I just shoved a pry bar in there and popped them out so while they're out I think I'm gonna possibly try to just shine them up um, I'm, I don't know if I'll polish them because they're all pretty scratched up. I'm sure they can be repaired, it's just too much time for the project I'm trying to do right now. So I'll probably just clean them up. I'm debating about painting the wheels actually. Um, I just know if I paint them, uh, that's going to add some time. I mean I've got plenty of time, it's just if I paint them you're never going to see them. That's the thing because of the hubcaps, because I like how the hubcaps look. Um, I don't know. I'm going to debate on this and yeah, but I checked all the, the wheel bearings, um, you know, shaking it side to side and then up and down and they all seem to be fine. So let's start taking the wheels off. Um, I think I'll work in the front since um, front brakes uh, is what I'm more familiar with. So this is how bad the caliper is leaking. <laughs> uh, this, the back of this wheel is just soaked. The tire is soaked, and in here, it is just, everything's just soaked. Um, the, it kind of looks like the pad's just melting, <laughs> honestly. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take the brake line off on this side, and I'm going to put my pan under and just let it start dripping. Um, and then in the meantime, um, we can start disassembling the, the calipers and all that. And I picked up these... A uh, double-end flare nut wrench, Arbor Freight, of course, 
on my first Harbor Freight trip out here. Um, but yeah, so I actually got correct SAE wrenches now instead of just metric. I mean, I have some other SAE ones, but like, I actually got the correct tool for the job. Uh, I don't want to strip anything. Here is the brake kit that I ordered for this car. I got it from Top Fly Automotive, and it is their whole brake set, basically. Um, so I also have rotors and then uh, like the master and the booster that's not on the table. This is just calipers, brake hoses, pads, and then parking brake stuff. Um, it also has this pistol retaining tool. Um, I didn't know what that is, but apparently I'm going to need that. And that has some brake fluid, so um, yeah. And then I also picked up, I just went and picked up this gloss black engine enamel. If you ever done calipers before, you don't actually need caliper paint. Engine enamel is perfectly fine. Unless you're in a race it, racer car and then maybe you'll get up to those insane temperatures, but for just street driving, engine enamel is perfectly fine and safe. And it's not going to peel for brake calipers. So these are the brand new caliper kits. I got a light now. Um, these are not uh, rebuilt uh, these are not rebuilt caliper, calipers um, I, I wanted to get new ones just because in the past you know just rebuilt stuff doesn't always seem to do good um, it might for this who knows um, these are the o-ring type and uh, it's just cast it's not stainless steel or aluminum or anything like that so this is uh, a little bit on the cheaper side, but I, I spent a little bit more to get brand new ones just to be sure that they're going to actually be good. Alright, so I set up the calipers. I taped over the bleeder screws, and then I taped over uh, the mounting points where it mounts to the caliper bracket. Uh, that way, no paint will mess up any threads or um, any anything like that. Uh, that's just what you do when you paint calipers. Um, and then I put cut out cardboard to protect the the actual seal where the piston for the caliper pushes out and yeah um, so I just painted them they're this glossy black they're looking pretty good um, you could put clear coat on it if you want it even shinier but this is perfectly fine for me I'm gonna let it dry for a little over an hour then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side um, if you had a way to hang it that would be the best but they're kinda heavy and I don't have anything strong enough to support it um, so yeah, while this is drying up, I'm just going to put you on a time lapse and we'll get the rest of the brakes off. It's kind of dark for you, it's kind of dark for me too. Uh, I haven't had luck with the Harbor Freight um, magnetic lights lately. I don't know what's going on. They're like the greatest thing, but for some reason the battery's not lasting at all for me. So, all of these brake pads on all four sides have been this red color. I don't know what that is. They're, they don't look like like EBC reds or um, any of those like track pads or something like that. Um, I, I have no idea what these are. Uh, so the last time this car had brakes done was before 2000. So whatever these are, they're 20 years old and it's a shame it had plenty of life. Um, even the rotors too. And even the back side where the rotors go to the hub. Um, Kind of a, a shame, but well, so these rear rotors are riveted on. That's what these are, and I know this car has a hundred and thirty something thousand miles. These aren't factory, 
I mean, I can't imagine factory rotors lasting 130,000 miles. Maybe, but I, I really doubt it. Um, especially with how new, like how much brake material is left. So, um, and the shop that did all the maintenance was like a, a big quality Corvette restoration and maintenance shop. So, that's understandable that they would rivet the rotors back on even though it's really not necessary. So, I'm going to have to drill them out. I'll have to find a way to center punch them and then drill them out with a big drill bit so all right well i'm gonna get the other ro or the other wheel off and the caliper off um I'll just get it to the same state as this and then i'll give the calipers some more paint and probably let's see if i have the tools or if i have to go buy some tools all right i got this passenger rear side off and a little interesting pads are the same all around but i got the rotor off um the rivets were already drilled off. The heads of the rivets were drilled out. So I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know. Someone put it back together and only ripped it in one side, apparently. Um, you can see the parking brake. Uh, the pad actually has a decent amount of life. I want to bet that it's the adjustment that's seized up. Um, so I'll be able to bring that back to life once I take it all apart. Um, so yeah. Three or four wheels are done. Um, yeah, I just gotta drill out the other side now. So I'll bring you along for the process and we'll figure out how to get that done. <laughs> 